Well, hello there. It's been a while since I've done one of these, um, but I've been sitting on a couple of these. Uh, my wife picked up for me at the TJ Maxx. She loves to go there to get the uh, syrups for her coffee. Um, and she picked me up these a uh, couple of uh, the G.I. Joe Forever Clever sets. Now, I think, unless they've released some more since uh, I've looked at it, um, I've got every one so far except for the Hiss Tank, which I keep an eye out, hoping that I might see it one day. But anyway, um, so this one that we're going to do today is the uh, Ninja Commando 4x4. Now, as you can see, um, first of all, got it at TJ Maxx. It was about eight bucks from the original 12 uh, MSRP, I guess. Um, now, if you notice, I don't think Snake Eyes had an actual, uh, basically, uh, AWE All Striker um, in the original G.I. Joe series. So, this is something that they've kind of made up themselves. And... If you notice, they're only able to use like the Snake Eyes uh, character backdrop um, from the original series to make that connection. But it was one of the pieces, and why not? You know what? So, without further ado, here we go. Unboxing. So, there's the... Set it up there. Okay. Alright, so standard drill. Uh, we got a box. Um, two bags this time. The bags are not numbered um, like in uh, Lego format, so you'll probably have to open them both up from the get go. My old enemy stickers. Okay. Not too many though, so hopefully that's a good thing. Um, instructions. And then they give you this box, and I mean, it's a nice idea having the compartmentalized sections for kind of separating and such, but honestly, some of the smaller parts, like a one pin part, get kind of lost here, there, or wherever. So uh, I tend to just put them out here on the um, table itself. And so here we go. All right. So, construction wise, that's what we're going to be looking at. And by the end, we should have us a little dirt dune buggy. But it's a ninja dune buggy. I don't know if you're one of those, you know, I know a lot of people that, you know, tend to just like the world, watch the world burn, that, uh, Immediately, we'll just do the minifigure and then the uh, actual vehicle sits and rots for a while. Now they've got the minifigure. That is not me. The minifigure is dessert once you get to the end of the ordeal. So here we go. Probably shouldn't have wore a black shirt when I'm dealing with a mostly uh, black Lego pieces, but oh well. Oh wow. So, word of warning on the first step. It's not very clear, but you're actually putting the piece on the very end, like just a single line of hips holding this back plate on. I don't know why they're obsessed in this series with the single hip or single row of hips construction. I guess they're not too concerned with it staying solid for very long. So the ordeal continues. All right. So
that's confusing. I have one piece that looks like this. So one by one. And it's very similar to these classic pieces that are a part of everything, but they are not the same, just so you know. If you decide to undertake this ordeal. Alright, first half of the instruction is done. Just gotta be honest here. Um, I know I'm not done yet, but uh, the current look of the vehicle evokes uh, images of another um, <laughs> character from childhood uh, animation who had a vehicle. He was also somewhat of a ninja martial artist sort of guy but without the uh, supporting bars there uh, just re reminiscent of someone I don't know <laughs> if you are into this nostalgia of some of the things you might know who I'm talking about um, if so drop me a note in the comments if you know who I'm thinking of at this moment anyway. Pretty bad, y'all. <clears throat> okay, there were so many better ways to do that, but I will tell you right now, making the canopy of this all striker equivalent will probably make you lose your religion. This thing is terrible, y'all. Run now. I may not be able to finish this one, y'all. This one is stupid.
came out from underneath. Oh my word. And I can't even do the piece de resistance, the, uh, the gun, the um, chain of bullets and shells will not attach because the mold did not finish making the clip, so it cannot actually attach. So. Why? Why? We already gave Snake Eyes a horrible movie as far as a lot of the fandom was concerned. Why do we have to give him a crappy deal? Huh? It's just not right. Let's put together old Snake Eyes now. I don't know if I can fully do him justice because he would have to, once he sees his vehicle, he will put his head down in chain and be upset. So, and the head doesn't really articulate that way, so I don't know what we're going to do. There's Snake Eyes once again. I don't know why you would put the mold point right where you're going to put his visor, but you know, decisions were made. And that's what I was afraid of. The crappiest build that I've done so far, and the figure can actually fit in and drive this junk. Um, Of course now getting him out but thankfully I have another one thanks to the other bad of the smaller builds the ninja cycle so he can kind of stay in there okay so to recap one save yourself time and hurt if you're trying to decide on one that you would like to try not this one, not this one. Um, two, figure does fit. However, I modified this considerably. Um, I did not put any of these four pieces in one of the last steps um, because there was no way to make the connecting point attached to the roof on these back bars. So I'm just leaving them free floating for now. Uh, just like the um, bullets because I need some crazy glue to do this as designed in the instructions so um, oh yeah I might as well decorate it up with stickers if you're going to do the stickers you might want to do them once you've got it built before you put the wheels on because they put one of the stickers in a place where it would be behind the wheel. So, learn from my mistakes. Actually, if you're learning from my mistakes, you probably won't buy this in the first place. But. Based on where some of these stickers are placed on this one, I'm pretty sure they built it, took pictures of it, and then photoshopped or photo edited in where the stickers were supposed to be. Unfortunately, you can't see it from the angle of the box, but see, they, they tell you right ahead, but it's the last thing I ended up putting on. Caution. In other words, buyer beware. Run away.
and for the 90 bazillion time, the roof has come off. All right, that's enough of y'all watching my pain, but there's as best I could complete it under the circumstances. So, um, once again, the driver will fit. Um, be prepared to do a little field engineering on this one if you want it to be complete. I'm probably gonna revisit this sucker with some crazy glue to get it finished up. But uh, that is the Ninja Commando 4x4. Um, I'm not sure it would handle 4x4 because it's barely staying together on nice, smooth 2x2s. But anyway, until next time.